We are visiting the Temple of Literature in Hanoi, which is one of the most popular sites for visitors and locals as well. As you enter the temple, you walk through a series of courtyards with gates separating them and walls around them and various structures and statues and fountains. There's a special gate at the second courtyard called the Constellation of Literature Pavilion. The temple was built from the year 1070 and it has a university that was built there in 1076, Vietnam's first university, and certainly one of the oldest universities in the world. The turtle is one of the nation's important symbols. It represents the ability to endure difficulties and live a long life and eat very little. And so in each of these ways, it represents students and the academy. And so it represents a symbol of the nobility and survival of difficulties. While it no longer functions as a school, it still attracts many students who come here to take pictures, say some prayers, and especially say some prayers about their upcoming exams. And we ran into this big bunch of university students who were having a great time taking each other's pictures. So we joined in some fun here. Nowadays, the educational system in Vietnam is very similar to what you find throughout most of the developed world with your primary education, your secondary education, and then the university studies. And while the best students go on to a university education, the government also provides a lot of opportunities for vocational education, for skilled workers and helping to build the economy of the country. From the courtyards, we enter into the main pavilions, which contain various statues of Confucius and his followers and other teachers and some of the important and sacred animals and lanterns and beautiful decorations in the interior. There's a bronze statue of a turtle with a large bird standing on his back representing the phoenix another important symbol of the nation. The main statue inside is naturally that of Confucius, who was a great Chinese philosopher who lived about 500 BC. And he was famous for the teachings about the correctness of behavior and social relationships, justice and sincerity. He coined the golden rule, and he is really the most important single philosopher in the history of this area. Some of his most important teachings regarded family loyalty and respect for the elders and ancestor worship. The temple was built by the Emperor Li Taitong in the year 1070. It's still an active temple with people coming on a regular basis to show their respect and offer their prayers. The temple is primarily about Confucius, but also the importance of education. So when you go upstairs to the second level, there are a series of beautiful bronze statues representing the three monarchs who contributed most to the foundation of the temple and the academy. Confucius was born and lived in China, and his influence is felt throughout Asia and the world. His teachings were not so much religious, but they were ethical and moral, emphasizing the development of skilled judgment rather than blindly following rules. In the old days, centuries ago, the students at this academy had to pass three different exams. One exam was at the local level, and another was at the regional level. And finally, there was one at the royal level. That was for the top students who would then be answering exam questions directly to the king. There's a nice model on exhibit in the pavilion. That wraps up our little tour. We've got a lot more movies about Hanoi and Vietnam on our YouTube channel, so take a look. And you might want to subscribe so that you can get all of our latest uploads.
We have a lot more programs about Hanoi on our website, tourvideos.com, which also has hundreds of movies about other great places in the world. <laughs>